Hello there, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that might just change the way you perceive your wardrobe choices. Did you know that the colors we wear can influence our mood and behavior? It's all rooted in the psychology of color. And guess what? Today, we're shining a spotlight on the bold and powerful color, red. In this video, we're going to unravel the mystery behind why you should be wearing red. We'll be delving into the captivating history of red, exploring its symbolism in cultures worldwide, and delving into the fascinating ways red affects us psychologically. So, if you're ready to spice up your wardrobe and maybe even your life, you're in the right place. Before we delve into the vibrant world of the color red, let's take a moment to explore the fascinating realm of color psychology. Psychology, the study of the human mind and behavior, reveals that colors can wield a profound influence on our thoughts, emotions, and even actions. It's not merely about aesthetics, it's about tapping into the intricate ways our brains respond to different hues. Researchers have long studied the psychological impact of colors, understanding that each shade has its own unique ability to evoke specific feelings. In the case of red, it goes beyond being just a visually striking color. Red is often associated with intense emotions, from passion and love to urgency and power. This connection is deeply rooted in our cultural, historical, and biological experiences, making red a color that carries a multitude of meanings across various contexts. In terms of color psychology, red is considered a warm color, stimulating feelings of energy and excitement. It's known to grab attention and create a sense of urgency, making it perfect for signaling importance or drawing focus. But it's not just about the outward impact. Red has the ability to influence our internal state, too. Studies suggest that exposure to the color red can increase heart rate and evoke a heightened sense of alertness, all contributing to the intricate dance between color and our psychological responses. Moreover, red is often linked to primal instincts, Think of ripe fruits or the flush of excitement. These associations are deeply ingrained in our evolutionary history, shaping our perceptions of the color red on a subconscious level. So, as we step into the exploration of wearing red, keep in mind the intricate dance between color and psychology. It's not just about what looks good, it's about tapping into the profound impact colors can have on our minds and emotions. Now that we've dived into the intricate relationship between color and psychology, Let's uncover the specific allure of wearing red and how it can become a powerful tool in shaping both your external image and internal state. The color red, with its bold and dynamic nature, goes beyond mere aesthetics. It has the power to shape our mental and emotional states in compelling ways. One of the key psychological impacts of wearing red lies in its ability to evoke a range of intense emotions. Red is often associated with passion, love, and desire. Whether it's a red dress, a tie, or even accessories, the color red evokes a sense of warmth and connection, creating a powerful impression on those around you. Also beyond the realm of romantic emotions, red is also known to stimulate feelings of energy and excitement. It's a color that demands attention, symbolizing power and confidence. When you wear red, you're not just making a fashion statement, you're projecting a sense of self-assuredness and vitality. In professional settings, the impact of red extends to signaling authority and assertiveness. A red power suit or a bold tie can convey a message of leadership and competence. Studies suggest that the color red can influence perceptions of dominance and competence, making it a strategic choice for those looking to make a strong impression in the workplace. Furthermore, the psychological impact of red isn't limited to the external world. It extends to our internal state as well. Exposure to the color red has been linked to increased heart rate and heightened levels of alertness. It's a color that can literally get your blood pumping, contributing to a sense of energy and readiness. Socially, wearing red can act as a confidence booster. Whether you're heading to a social event or a networking opportunity, the color red instills a sense of self-confidence and empowerment. It's a bold choice that can help you stand out in a crowd, fostering a positive and memorable impression. As we navigate through the psychological landscape of wearing red, remember that it's more than just a color. It's a tool for self-expression, communication, and influencing perceptions. Having said that, while red holds undeniable power in influencing emotions and perceptions, there are instances when its use may not be the most suitable choice. Let's explore some cases about when not to use the color red, 
ensuring that its impact aligns with the context and desired outcomes. First and foremost, consider the setting and the nature of the event. While red is a bold and attention-grabbing color, it might be too overpowering for certain formal or somber occasions. For example, in situations where a subdued and professional atmosphere is required, opting for softer tones might be more appropriate. Especially those requiring a conservative approach, the excessive use of red might be perceived as too bold or distracting. It's essential to gauge the workplace culture and dress code to ensure that your choice of red aligns with the expectations. Another cautionary note pertains to cultural considerations. In some cultures, red may carry specific connotations that could be deemed inappropriate or symbolically charged. In Korea for example red is not a lucky color, but the color of passion, and borders on social impropriety. And someone's name shouldn't be written in red since the color is associated with death. Additionally, when it comes to personal style, not everyone may feel comfortable or confident wearing vibrant red. Using a softer shade of red, such as salmon or rose, may still boost your confidence and give you a sense of comfort. Pushing yourself to wear red when you're not comfortable may not yield the desired positive impact. It's best to build your comfort level beginning with softer shades as the ones mentioned before. Lastly, in situations where you aim to convey a sense of calmness or neutrality, red may not be the ideal choice. It's a color associated with intensity and energy, so opting for more calming tones like blues or greens might be more suitable in environments where a serene ambiance is desired. Remember that the effectiveness of red lies in understanding when and where to leverage its power. Whether you're aiming for confidence or making a bold statement, the color red proves to be a powerful tool in your wardrobe arsenal. We've unraveled the captivating world of the color red, from its profound impact on our minds and emotions to the strategic ways you can leverage its power in different aspects of life. If you enjoyed this exploration into the psychology of color, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, consider subscribing to our channel for more insights into the intersection of style, psychology, and success. Let's continue this vibrant conversation in the comments. I would love to read any experiences you've had while wearing red. We're on a journey to empower you with knowledge that goes beyond the numbers. Until next time, stay bold, stay confident, and remember, the world is your canvas. Thank you so much for joining us today. Take care, and see you in the next video.